Welcome to Automate, my name is Marco Cruz. This is the second video in a series called Software Automation Fundamentals. Today, we'll take a look at what a software automation framework is. In brief, a software automation framework is a set of tools and guidelines by which those tools are put to use. As an example, think of what goes on when a building is constructed. There are certain rules and regulations that are put in place by higher authority, which dictates, for example, how a roof should be attached to the frame of the house how the electrical and plumbing needs to be put in place, etc, etc. Now that we have a basic understanding of what a framework is, let us take a look at the different types of frameworks that are available. Here is a list of frameworks that you are more likely to come across. We will take a look at each one of these to see what their advantages and disadvantages are. First up is the Linear Automation Framework. This framework is also known as Record and Playback. Basically, a user records their actions on an application in order to generate a test. One of the advantages of doing this is that it allows you to get up and running really fast, and it requires no programming skills. The main disadvantage though is that this type of tests are not maintainable, and they will also be very brittle. Next we have Modular Based Testing Framework. In this type of framework, the application under test is divided into sections or modules, and then tests are created for each one of these modules. Essentially, the different components of the application are tested in isolation. One of the advantages of using this framework is that if the application changes, you only need to make changes to those tests that apply to the module that changed within the application. The main disadvantage is that it requires programming knowledge. Also, your tests are hard-coded, meaning that you cannot use multiple data sets when running your tests. Next, we have the keyword-driven framework. This framework allows you to create keywords within the framework. These keywords are then used to build tests that will test the application, hence the name Keyword Driven. A keyword can be something as simple as sign in, or log out, or enter text. You get the idea. A user of the application will simply need to know what the available keywords are so that they can perform different functions in the application. One of the advantages of using this type of framework is that the person using this framework does not require programming experience. However, the main disadvantage is that the initial setup of the framework is very intensive and requires a high technical skill set. Next up is the data-driven framework, and this is arguably the most popular of the different frameworks. With the data-driven framework, it allows the user to generate tests using multiple data sets, and this is its main advantage. The idea behind this framework is to avoid using hard-coded data. The main disadvantage is that it requires a significant amount of effort and time to design this type of framework. It also requires highly skilled engineers to build this type of framework. Next is Behavior Driven Development Framework, or BDD framework. This is also a very popular type of framework. It allows the user of this framework to use natural language to create tests. As you might imagine, this is very beneficial since it can be used by business analysts, manual testers, without the need of having to know a programming language. The main disadvantage is that the person building this framework needs to be highly skilled. It also will require a significant amount of time and effort to develop this framework. Lastly, we have the hybrid testing framework. As the name implies, this involves combining two or more of these frameworks together and thereby leveraging the advantages that some of the frameworks provide while minimizing some of their weaknesses. I hope you've enjoyed learning about software automation frameworks. Please share this video if you find it helpful.